Hey everyone, welcome to the Daily Word. I'm really glad that you've joined me. And for our Daily Word, we're going into the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 8. I want to share with you from uh, verses 10 and 11, and then let's, let's talk about uh, our faith in Jesus Christ. When Jesus heard this, he was amazed. Turning to those who were following him, he said, I tell you the truth, I haven't seen faith like this in all Israel. And I tell you this, that many Gentiles will come from all over the world, from east and west, and sit down with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob at the feast in the kingdom of heaven. Now, this Roman officer who has, has come to Jesus on behalf of his servant who's very ill has said, no, Jesus, uh, you, don't, you don't have to come to my house. I'm not worthy for that to happen but you just say the word, I, I understand authority, I have authority over soldiers, I say go, they go, I say come, they come, and if you will just say the word, I know that he'll be healed. He has incredible faith, and remember now that uh, this man, this Roman officer, is an enemy, he is the, the occupier, he is uh, a Gentile, one of the, the unclean, and yet, uh, Jesus says that many like him, thanks be to God, uh, many like him, many Gentiles, many folks who are not uh, Israelites, will have a seat at the feast of the kingdom of heaven. Uh, he is a Gentile, and yet, uh, Jesus is amazed. He is amazed by his faith, and he, he praises him for it. Um, Many, uh, Jesus says, in contrast, who should know, that is, the Israelites who have been entrusted with the word of God, many who should know, in fact, reject Jesus. They will not, Jesus says, be at that feast. And really, it all comes down to faith. It's not a, whether you're a Gentile or an Israelite. It's not about where you come from, your background. And so it, it is all about faith. The centurion had almost certainly heard Jesus teach. He had also, of course, seen him do miracles. He had seen him heal. And based on what God had revealed to him, he puts his faith in Jesus. He knows that Jesus can do this, can heal. He acknowledges Jesus. Though he is a centurion, a commander of many, uh, he humbles himself before Jesus. Now, we know that God reveals himself to, to all people in, in various ways, especially God uses the followers of Jesus Christ to reveal Jesus, to reveal the gospel, reveal salvation to people, and, and God in that, by the power of his Holy Spirit, confirms the truth of the gospel and enables people to make a decision about Jesus Christ. And, and the truth is that the most important thing that anybody can do in this world, the, the most important decision is what will I do with Jesus? What will I do about him? And the question I believe is before us, do we trust Jesus? Do we trust the truth of the word of God? Do we trust the truth of the gospel? Are we resting our souls and our ultimate destiny in the finished work of Jesus Christ? That on the cross, he in fact has taken my sins upon himself. He has made a way for me to be forgiven and restored to God. And do we trust him enough to repent and receive salvation. That is to say, do we trust him enough to give up our own way and go his way, to follow him, to, as the centurion says, place ourselves under the lordship of Christ, the, the, the authority of Christ, so that we would say to him in the surrender of our hearts to our Lord and Savior, just say the word, just say the word, Jesus. And friends, may that be the case for all of us, that we have made Jesus our hope, our joy, our Lord, 
our Savior. In his name we pray. Amen. Amen. And friends, until we have a chance to speak again, I pray that God would bless you and that he would keep you.